Bookshelves, they're not just for books. In fact, I don't use my bookshelf for any Hi books. Hi guys, happy Wednesday. Well, we're back in the family room and we're gonna be styling my bookshelf for summer. And this is the bookshelf that I love to style seasonally for all the seasons, for fall, for Christmas, for spring, for summer. You get the drift. So today we're gonna be styling it for summer. Now on Monday's video, I was hinting that I may be styling the bookshelf in a Tuscan coastal look and feel. Um, let's just say I've been plugging and playing the last, I don't know, 15 minutes. And mm, let's just say we'll only be adding one Tuscan element. You'll see. So I've sort of made a little mess bringing in a bunch of stuff from my storage room so I could plug and play. And so I don't wanna show the whole room because I've got stuff sort of scattered on the, the sectional, on the tables, and it's a little messy right now. So I'm gonna take you down. I'm gonna show you the bookshelf with nothing on it. I'm gonna share with you what I did. I had to get on a ladder. There was, there was no way to record that and be safe. So I actually added two arched wall gates up there and uh, I'll let you see that and then we're gonna get started. All right, friends, this is what we're working with today. These are the two arched wall gates. I picked these up at Ross and I absolutely love them. And I found these at Ross right before COVID happened. Although years ago, I bought two of these. They are on the wall in my home office. Um, so, you know, they, they bring them to Ross and then they go away and then they, they come back every now and again. So if you like them, check there when your stores begin to open. And this is the bookshelf we're gonna be working with. Now, I always get a lot of questions on where did you get that bookshelf? And if I remember correctly, I got it at Value City Furniture. And I remember when we got it, we found it on clearance. So I don't believe they sell this piece anymore, but that's not to say there aren't, you know, other manufacturers that may sell this online or in other stores. Um, so anyway, if I can find the name of it, I'll link it. But if I, if I can't, I won't be able to link it for you guys. But uh, nonetheless, let's get started and let's style this in a coastal look and All feel. Right, I'm gonna drag my tripod over there. I'm gonna try to extend the pull up as high as it goes. I'm gonna go up the ladder because I want you to see what I'm doing. Fingers crossed I can do this safe. Otherwise, I may have to just show you what I've done. I'm keeping this super simple. I am, you'll see. All right guys, unfortunately, this is as high as it'll go. So I'm gonna do my best, but what I'm gonna do is I always love to layer my displays because I think it gives it more visual interest. So as you can see, I've got my wall gates there, but I'm not stopping there. I'm gonna add this. I think this, you know, this is farmhouse and I did get this at um, Hobby Lobby but this can go coastal too. It's weathered, it's chippy, it's perfect. And so what I'm gonna do is just add it right here in the center. Just like that. Another thing I like is the wood color here coordinates well with the bookshelf. Um, having the arched wall gates um, it draws your eyes up, it adds visual interest with the arches, and I am a sucker for Tuscan anything. And I think you can, what I love is mixing styles. So we're gonna add a little Tuscan with this. This could be French country, farmhouse, or coastal. So very versatile. And now let's add some coastal vibes. Book boxes are a must for me in my decorating. So I'm gonna put one here, catty corner, and you guys aren't gonna be able to really see that well. But over here where my hand is, I've got two more book boxes. And I'm just gonna set them here in the corner. Okay, and now we're gonna build on those. By the way, nobody's gonna see the book boxes. It's just to elevate 
the de decor pieces I'm gonna put on them. I've got, I don't even know where I got this. Anyway, it's got sort of a uh, stone base and then it's got grass. So I'm gonna put this on top of this book box. And I think that looks cute. Now, I wanna put something right here and then something right here. So I gotta go back down. Now I've got a topiary with this big tall cage. Um, and I'm gonna set this into, in the center. There we go. Now, I know I've got greenery here and I've got greenery here, but they, they both bring different textural elements. So this is wispy and this is sort of contained in the cage, but I like the cage because it kind of mimics the crisscrossing on that decorative piece behind it. Now, I wanna add a pop of color. Okay, so right on this book box, I've got this, I hope you guys can see the color. Maybe not. They're kind of distressed candle holders in this pretty bluey green color. So I'm gonna put one here and we are going to stick um, a flameless flickering LED candle up here which I'll be able to control with a remote. And then let's see if we can get another one in. I think I like it. So I think the top turned out actually cute. Um, and what I wanna point out is I like the arches and then I like that one in the center because it kind of goes up and then like at a point. So I, I definitely think it gives visual interest. Um, but now we're gonna decorate right there. So to start, I always like decorating with this basket. I pretty much use it all year round right in that spot. Um, but what I'm gonna do is just stick it right here in the center. And the reason I'm doing that is to add um, textural, a textural element, if you will. Next, I have this piece of greenery. It's wispy and I just like the colors. So I'm gonna add this right here. Next, I'm adding this big, beautiful bottle with jute twine around it. And what I love most about it is the ombre effect. So it looks really cool. Very, very nautical. So I'm gonna put this right here. Right in the center. Next, I've got this cute little sign that says, let's stay home. And I got this at the at-home store and I'm gonna place this just right here. Just like that. Now I've got this cute, you know, ship wheel nautical clock and it's got north, south, east and west on it. And um, I'm gonna place this right here. Sort of angled and I think that's gonna do it for the top shelf now right here in the center I'm gonna add this lantern got this at Ross last year and all I've done is put an LED flameless flickering candle on the inside 
and um, that will go in the center. Next, I've got this sign. It says home. And I believe I got this at Hobby Lobby last year, I think. And I'm gonna put that right here at an angle. Then I've got this cute little pedestal. You can get these at Michael's. And I'm gonna put that right there with this little plant. But I just love the way this plant looks. I don't know, it just looks beachy to me. And I'm just gonna set the plant, let's see, which is the good side? Right there. Or, let's see. Sometimes you've gotta play with these things. Maybe that's better. Yeah, that's better. Next, I have two cute starfish. I believe, if I remember correctly, um, that I got these at the Burlington Coat Factory last year. And all I'm gonna do is, I'm gonna sit the taller one back here at an angle. Like that. and then one right beside it. And I think that looks pretty cute. All right guys, on this shelf, I've got a plate stand and then I got this last year at Home Goods, and um, it's like wicker, a wicker starfish. Kind of whitewashed, it's cool looking. Um, and I think I'm gonna set this. Right in here. I think that looks cute. Now beside it, I've got this cute little vase. And you can see it, it looks like a sand color. And this is kind of a gray, grayish blue. And then this is an arrangement I got at Walmart and I just stuck it in here because to me it's reminiscent of beach grass. So I'm gonna stick that right there. And then this one's a little different. By the way, I got these at Burlington Coat Factory last year. This one doesn't have a handle. And I'm gonna sit this one beside it. And then I've got this little sprig of a garland. It reminds me of seaweed, Hobby Lobby. And I'm just gonna set that off to the side because it, it just looks like seaweed to me. So unfortunately, I am all out of those plate holders. And it would have looked so cute if I had a matching one right here. So I'm just going to lean that one. It's, it's a little offset, but oh well. And then I've got this cute little lantern. And then I added this real pretty uh, candle from Hobby Lobby. Does that, does that not look like the beach? All the colors of the coast. Coastal, coastline. <laughs> ah, I didn't get enough sleep. And you can't, you won't be able to tell, but this candle looks really pretty at night and it sort of flickers a little bit. But anyway, to me, this just says the beach. And I'm, I'm just gonna take this and set that there. This'll be like a little grouping of three. And, um, and then this, like I said, if I had the same plate holder, that would have been perfect. Well, I'm just gonna lean it. That's what I'm gonna do. But anyway, I, I still think it looks adorable. Now down below on the bottom shelf, um, first off, I got this candle. This is another LED candle. I got this at the at-home store, but I like it because it's got the rope. Very nautical. And then I also got this at the at-home store and 
Again, very nautical. So I'm gonna put this candle in the lantern and this will go down on the bottom shelf. Lantern is gonna go right here. Um, and then what do I wanna put beside it? Now, over here on this side, I've got this cute little wood sailboat. This was $6.99 at Home, Home Goods. But you can see it's just real natural, rustic looking. And I like it because it remind it's got the sand colors and I'm just gonna put that right there. Now on the other side, I am going to, I've got this little vase. It's like a little ombre effect sort of. And because I've got this little swig, oh, you can't see, just one second. So I've decided to put this little piece right here and then right in front of it, I've got this Mr. Fish. I got him at Burlington, I believe, for on clearance for $6. And then it's got a big marble vase and it's real heavy. Um, and I'm gonna put the fish in the front so you can see him. And that's it. with just books, boring, boring for me, but bookshelves with decor pieces styled for whatever season you're in, now that's fun for me. And actually, if I had had some cute nautical books or summer recipes or things of that nature, that actually would have been really cute to incorporate somehow into this whole display. Uh, but anyway, I think it looks really cute here in the family room. We're not doing a family room tour just yet. I've got company coming, so I've got to wrap this up quickly today and get all my stuff put away. Uh, but anyway, I hope you guys like it. And I am just, I am so loving this summer decorating in my house. I love adding coastal nautical, soft muted, beachy colors. It just, I don't know, it does something for me. I just, I love it. Well, that's going to wrap up my video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. It was short and sweet today, but uh, come back and see me Friday. We're going to try to finish up the rest of this family room. We don't have much to do, just a few odds and ends, and then I'll do a family room coastal tour, and I, I think it looks really cute, and uh, oh, maybe not. I've got two things to style over there. I for, totally forgot about that. Well, we'll see. We'll see how far I get on Friday. But anyway, I hope you guys have a great day. Thank you so much for stopping by and for all of your lovely comments. Oh, got to tell you, oh, I can't remember her name. Somebody told me on Monday's video that I had one of my mirrors upside down. And she said her OCD was getting to her. And I came in here and I was like, oh my gosh, she's right. She's absolutely right. What happened was when I was trying to play with the mirrors and get them to like angle like windows, one went on there perfectly with perfectly aligned with the canvas, but the other one didn't. And I was like, hmm, that's odd. So I was trying to flip it different ways to see if I could get it to fit just like the other one. No cigar. But anyway, I didn't even notice that. So thank you. Thank you for letting me know that I had my mirror upside down. How embarrassing. Anyway, you know who you are, and I just, you know, thank you. All right, everyone, see you Friday. Mwah!